Coach, a lot on the line tonight. The Spurs really needed this win, of course, and you guys find yourselves down, still find a way to fight back in and win this one. You know, what's your takeaway from this game tonight? No, it was a concern coming off a long road trip. Quick turnaround for us and uh, just find a way to win. Just keep fighting. And uh, that's what we did. We got down uh, big in the second half, but, you know, came back. Our defense got going. We started sharing the ball, made the extra pass, got some good looks at, at some threes. But uh, San Antonio's terrific. They're hard playing, you know, long, athletic. Uh, they make it tough on you, and you got to play for 48 minutes against them. Respect. Tom, what is it about the makeup of your club that gives you the confidence you can come back down by 17 and it's almost like these guys believe even when they are down, they can still win a ball game? Well, usually we can count on our defense and our rebounding and keeping our turnovers down. And then the way we shoot threes, we can make up ground pretty quickly. Uh, so we felt that if we, if we can just get some stops, get, get out, hit the paint, uh, force the defense to collapse and then spray, we, we'd have a chance. And so just keep working the game. It's a long game, 48-minute game. There's going to be runs in it both ways. And stay even killed, but just keep fighting. you got, you got to fight for the entire time. And there's no substitute for hustle. Uh, so if you hustle, you can make anything happen. Jeff Bondi. Hey, Tom, lately your point guard rotation has changed. Uh, Elf is playing fewer minutes. I was wondering if um, every, everybody's healthy, Rose, Burks, uh, and Emmanuel quickly, would you consider changing the starting lineup, or is it too late in the season for a change like that? We, we, have, we like our depth. We have versatility. Uh, the game, each game tells you something different. Whatever you need, you could, you have the answer either starting or on the bench. And so that's what I like about the team, the depth, depth of the team. You got guys who can play multiple positions, guys who can go off the dribble, uh, guys who can shoot the three. Um, so whatever's working for us, whatever we need, everyone sacrifice, put the team first. Uh, don't get wrapped up in – how many minutes or shots or any of that stuff. Just put the team first. Winning is the most important thing. Mark Berman. Uh, hey, Tom. Uh, yeah, Derek was a late scratch. We didn't get to ask you about it. It looked like it was probable. Uh, what's the situation with him? Was it uh, coming out of that 39 minutes against the Lakers, or what happened? Uh, just needed a day, so day to day. Uh, we knew we were getting a couple guys back, so we thought it, it, it would be good to give them the rest. Mike Mancuso. Coach uh, Burks, again, contributing in major ways. Can you talk about the way he shot the ball and just played overall tonight? Yeah, terrific. Uh, off the dribble, uh, shooting the three, getting to the line. And he gives us great uh, size and position, allows us to do more switching. Um, and you can't speed him up. He's, he's got a great pace to his game. Uh, but he can hurt you a lot of different ways. Very good free throw shooter, obviously. Uh, but the all-around play, and he's like a, a Swiss Army knife. You, you could use him at multiple positions. And you can run catch and shoot. You can run pick and roll. You can, you can post them. So many different things you can do with him, and so and he fits with everyone. He can play him with the starters, play him with the bench. You can play him as a you know a small four, shooting four. There's, there's a lot of stuff you can do with him. Mike Vaccaro. Tom, down 17. How did you? Uh, uh, how would you describe how your team was? I mean, frustrated, angry, worried, concerned. I prefer not to be down 17, but that's part of the game. And just have the belief that we can win. You know, just keep fighting. You try to, you know, when you get down that much, you just you, you fight to get it inside 10. Uh, and as I mentioned, with the three, you can make up ground pretty quickly. So you just need to get string together some stops and knock down a couple shots, and, and then you're on your way. And that's what we did. Just work the game. Uh, you get into stuff together. You get out of stuff together. Ian Bigley. Hey, Tom, sorry, just to follow up on Derek, 
did, did he like uh, warm up before the game and, and the ankle wasn't there or was it just a rest thing? Yeah, no, he, he, he tweaked it in, in the uh, Laker game. Uh, and so he, he did uh, some stuff yesterday, did some stuff pregame. And then we just felt like it was better to, to not play him today. And we'll see where he is tomorrow. Mark Berman. Yeah, Tim, I don't know if you were asked about Alec exactly. I mean, three games off and has missed so many games over the last few weeks. And he looked so sharp. Uh, how impressed again were you with Alec? Well, he's had a lot of time to practice. <laughs> no, he's, he, you know, it says a lot. He, he, you know, and I say that, you know, tongue in cheek, because going through COVID is not an easy thing. And so that knocked him back. He was playing great prior to, and then, you know, to get nicked up when you come back and then to get through that. Uh, but he's, he's put a lot of time in uh, to the rehab to get, to get healthy again, to get his wind, uh, to do all those things. And, uh, but he's, uh, and that's the great value in him. He's just such a, a great pro, you know, he, he knows what he has to do. He knows how to manage his body. He, he understands all that stuff. So, um, you know, he's, and I, as I mentioned several times, we have the right veterans and you, know, you start with him and, and Reggie and Derek and Taj and Nerlens and Alfred. Uh, those guys have been great for our young guys, and they've made this team uh, function at a very high level. And obviously, when you add in what Julius does, uh, and, you know, he's neither young nor old. He's right in the middle, uh, and his best years are coming. And RJ's really, he hit big shot after big shot to help make up ground for us. And you know, we're not, we haven't even talked about Mitch. And so... Uh, quick and Obi, they're, they're all coming on. And so, but we have the right uh, veterans to show the way, and our young guys uh, they bring great energy every day. And I think the veterans need that. So they see how eager they are and how how much they put into it. So it's it's a great blend.